Hello and welcome. In this video we want to show you how you can use Simflower to generate Spring Boot integration tests and we will use these tests to do a little refactoring and make this code look nicer. This book service is from a bookstore and the function here basically checks if a book we are interested in is ready to be sold and is available. I will use the Simflower IntelliJ plugin to generate a test suite for this function. And we can see here to the right that the test suite that Simflower generated already contains all the imports, the book service is auto-wired in a spring fashion, and we have three test cases, one where the book is null, one where the book is empty. In both of these cases, the book is not available, so the return value is false. And a final case where the book is empty, but we set the number of copies to 1, which makes the book available and the return value becomes true. If we now run these generated tests, we will see that Spring Boot will spin up in the background and this service will be tested. And we see that all the cases pass. So this generated test suite gives us 100% coverage on our function. To start now with the refactoring, we can see that the first uh, return here in this if case always returns, right? So the else case does not really need to be a case, but we can just make it a continuation of the code block. And with that, lose basically one indentation here. And when we now run this test suite again, we can check and make sure that we didn't break any behavior and that the test suite still passes. Or in a similar fashion, we can use Simflower again and regenerate the test suite. And we will see that the test suite stays the same, so also the behavior stays the same. Finally, let's look at the second if condition and realize that we check a binary Boolean condition here and then return true or false. But it would be more straightforward to just return the binary condition that we check here immediately and just get rid of this if construct altogether. So this is probably as simple and as easy as it can get. And we can again run the test suite to make sure we didn't break anything. Only in this case we will see that there are some problems so the second and the third case failed. And we can actually ask Simflower again to regenerate the test suite. And we will see that the return values for the final two cases flip. So the empty book is suddenly available and the return value is true, but the book where the number of copies is one is suddenly false. And that is of course because we didn't properly adapt this operation when we removed the if construct. And so now if we regenerate the test suite again, a final time we see the return values flip again to the original values and we can see that this test suite now passes again and we finally successfully finished with our refactoring. Thank you for watching.